The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. <clears throat> okay, folks, uh, Larry Pesavento for TFNN. Uh, I'm going to go over the wheat market here, folks, over the last few months. Uh, remember, folks, a year and a half ago, uh, wheat was trading for $13.50 a bushel. It was limited up two days in a row. Uh, there was none for sale. There was no wheat to be had in the world. Now, uh, 13 months late, 14 months later, we're sitting here, and we're looking at wheat here at 532 now, this is a real quandary for me, folks, because you can see the ABCD pattern that I have here measured to 521. So I said, let's buy at 523. Well, we've been to 529 and one half. That's really close to the 1.618. If you go back and use that same type of an idea here, you see there was the 1.618 of that move right here. We had the little bit of a move from there. Now, this is really really a big move now what we have to realize is we've completed this almost completed this abcd move to the downside we've had another one here a let's just draw it in so you can see it this is just like the just almost exactly like the cattle trade that we did a few weeks ago you see we went down a little bit below that one right here so we're in the area where you want to be looking to buy the uh, the wheat now one of the things that we know about wheat you can see how the market came up and down and made the move that stopped right at the 127 here and then it rallied four thousand dollars after hitting the 1.27 okay and if you looked at that on the smaller time frame and went and measured the 1.618 it went a little bit below the 1.618 so we are in the wheelhouse either today or tomorrow or very very shortly we've got that report coming out here uh very very shortly so we're going to be watching it we have an order sitting there at 523 so that's what we're looking at uh, today uh, in the wheat market. It's got everything that you could ask for as far as uh, something to buy at. But remember, folks, let's just look at this. Now, this will be May wheat, so you will not – because it was a different price, we'll get the weekly – well, the only way we can do that is to look at spot wheat. Give me one second here. Pull up the spot wheat. I just want to show you how high it was a long time ago. We'll get the weekly up here. And you'll see that we reached, uh, let's get this out of the way. There's where we are now. And we were at, there you are, folks. How's this for a dot-com bubble, huh? Almost $14. 1365 was the high, 1361. Now we are 10, almost $10 a bushel lower, and you can't get anybody to buy it. This is a this is ideal situation for what we like to see, folks, because it's got everything lined up. So uh, that's what we're paying attention to here today uh, in the wheat market. Now I want to get back to the May wheat again. Let me just get out of the way because there's some there's a cycle in here that is going to be coming due. Now I'm going to clean all of this out. This is the kind of stuff that JT and I worked on all these years. All we're going to do now is we're going to put the cycle finder in up here at the top. All that's going to do is to line that up, and then I'm going to hit the moon phases. I'm going to put the, the moon phases in. Let me see if I do that one. If I do a half cycle, nope, I just do the full moon phases right here. That shows us. Now, <clears throat> this is where is was a full moon. You can see that full moon right here. That was one day off of a three-day rally. Here's the new moon. It was right on the high. There's a full moon right on the low. There's a new moon right on the low within one day. There's a full moon within two days of the low. There's a new moon right here, three days off. Now, this one was off quite a bit, you see. That, that's why it's not as perfect as you might want to think. But we're looking at numbers now, folks. We're looking at numbers. So each of these, there it is right here. This one here was one day off of this low right here. You can see it. Mark it right here. I mean, it, it does mean something. Here's 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 another one off by four days, but here we are coming in, and guess what? We got this report coming up, right? And then we also got this date coming in, which is going to be over the weekend. So this is going to tell us that boy, we got to get ready to be long the wheat, folks. It's all I can do 
to hold myself back from clicking on the buy signal right here. I mean, I usually will buy this, and I'll tell you, and I'm going to do it. There's your ABCD pattern right here, and that comes in at 28 is the 1.618, okay? I think that's that's worthy of uh, something that is uh, important. So I'm going to be buying it probably really soon, maybe even during this show that we have it right now. The low was uh, 20. Uh, nine and a half. We're trading at 31 and a half. So let's just, uh, for kicks and giggles, let's just buy a few of them here. Just buy for a couple here. Hold on for a second here. We'll come up here. I've got an order setting in here down here. You see at uh, 23. I'm just going to go ahead and buy it at the market. Leave my stop in and see where I got filled. I got filled at uh, 531 and three quarters on a couple. So that's all I'm going to do. Now, I'll be waiting to buy more if it market bottoms and we get to that point where I want to see a little bit of a rally. But this is this is really what you're looking for. you got all the things that are necessary. The only thing that is not there is this little puppy right here, and that comes in really soon, like a couple days. we got that report setting in here. Now, I have my stop setting right below there. I'm willing to risk at this point. I'm really only going to risk six cents today. And then when we get down to 30, uh, 22 I'll risk another 10 cents. So I'm going to become a farmer for a certain period of time. That This is the key right here. There's your ABCD leg. There's your long-term 1.618. If we get below here, folks, they might not uh, – th there might be something it will make uh, – what do you call it? Uh, a wheat uh, – incompatible with uh, with the diet or something. But right now, this is the kind of trade that you like to see happen. Now, just to give you a rough idea of what that was like, let's go back and look at cattle just a few weeks ago. Okay, there's the L. There it is right here. We'll get the daily up. We're looking at the same type of pattern here in the cattle. Let's get over here. Now, there's where we were in cattle. Now, you couldn't get anybody in the world to buy cattle right there. It's coming down 382, 382, 382, 382, three drives to a bottom. Had everything that you could ask for for pattern recognition, and it rallied from 166 and all the way up to one, uh, 180, 189 it rallied to. Look, you see it didn't even stop at the 382. It kept going higher from that level. So this is the same type of pattern that I'm looking at in wheat that I'm seeing here in cattle. These are the same patterns, A, B, C, Ds all the way down, Three drive to a bottom pattern, expansion numbers, everything that you could ask for, and that's why we're looking wheat. And wheat is one of the premier edible things in the world because this is where they get the bread and cookies and cakes and all this stuff is flour. And so you think people are going to stop eating? I don't think so. But for some reason, nobody wants to buy wheat right now. There must be a lot of it around because the commercials are heavily short, the, the – uh, the, what do you call it? The hedge funds are heavily short, and there's only this one old guy over in Tucson, Arizona that's uh, got some wheat on, and that's what I'm looking at. So I hope that makes sense. Yeah, and these patterns do fail. We know that for a fact. And when they fail, you got to stand out of sight, stand out of sight on these things because that's when you really get into uh, you know serious levels of, of what we're watching. So we're going to take a break here. Stay with us. Eight seven seven. Nine two seven six six four eight. Stan Harley at the break. You don't want to miss it. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. 
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, now this is December meal, which is also known as tofu. It's also the feed for uh, chickens and hogs and cattle. But anyway, you'll notice here that uh, we've had been coming down now since November. We've been in a five-month bear market. You can see the smaller ABCD patterns. Look at this. It only rallies about four days. Comes down here, it rallies about six days, three days, two days, four days. We're getting down in an area where we should have some pretty strong support. Just looking at the ABCDs, we're going to do a couple of them in here. And uh, there's looks like we could get another $10 lower possibly here. And uh, we got another move here. Now, wheat is totally different than the uh, is totally different than, uh, than the protein that's in the uh, hold on a second here. That is, this is pure protein, is the uh, soybean meal, it is uh, so uh, tofu. And uh, you'll see here, there was a, went far below. Now, here's a perfect example. You have an ABCD here. Why didn't it stop here? Well, the answer is because it's coming down so sharply that you have to extend the CD leg out to 1.27, and that'll get you closer to the target that you want to be looking at. And there it is right here at 333. We're at 337 right now. Here's where we are on the daily. If we switch over to the hourly, you'll see we're probably – looking at the possibility you already see we could look to get to this level real easily but so far we've held this level right here so we're making what i believe is a major major bottom in corn beans and i think beans have already made the bottom and then also uh, soybean meal uh and along with the wheat so those are the ones that we're watching at uh, watching for here today so Let's uh, keep our powder dry, get ready, because when it happens, it's going to be good. Now, switch over to soybeans for just a second. I'll get to the bonds. Just bear with me one second here. This is what we've done here in the last 10 days in beans. That's, this is corn, Christmas corn. You see we've come down to the 382, one, two, three different days here. It's held the 382. That means that there's some buying coming into the corn market. And here again, same types of ABCD moves to the downside. And th this is very similar to wheat, folks. You can see this type of a pattern that it heads down for three drives to a bottom. What you have to do is to measure them as you go through. And that's what we were looking for. There's your first ABCD pattern down to this level. It goes a little bit lower. Then you have another one coming in like that. 
Okay, what does that tell you? You've got your three drive pattern forming just about right in this area where it came in. You'll see, we'll pull it down for a little bit more. One final push, took, uh, this took six days to make this bottom. If we move over one more period, you'll be able to see this larger pattern that was from way back here. Remember, this is these are longer term daily patterns. And you'll see there you went right down to that same number here at 447. We got to uh, 443, and now we're trading up uh, about 12 cents, which isn't much, but it tells us that the bottom could be uh, really, really close uh, in here. Okay, so that's what we're paying attention to here. Now, let's someone, someone's asked a question about the bonds. The bonds, whenever Mr. Powell gets on that tube, he likes to see bonds go up because, boy, they have to sell a lot of them. And the only way they're going to do that is to get the prices higher. Here is the daily chart. You can see we made this beautiful pattern here to the tick, uh, 107.10. The low was 107.11, being right on the money. You can't get any closer than that. And now you see we've had a pretty good rally here. We're going to blow this up and see where we are right now as the Fed is still speaking today. I think they're over right now, but let's just see where we are from this high right here to this low right here. We should be right about 61, not quite uh, off of that point, and that means this one's going to be a little bit lower than that. You'll see there'll be two numbers coming in here. Uh, there's the There, it just made a 50% retracement of this move right here. That's exactly what this has done right here at 121.20. Now, the $64,000 question that you have to ask yourself, is this, there's your ABCD pattern right here, is this a 1, 3, 5 pattern? Well, we have a ratio coming in right here, right, off of this one. We have a ratio coming in off of this one. All we have to have to make this good is to make this a very symmetrical move so you go from your high and that means it's going to come in looks like uh in another day or two we should be uh, right around this area here that would be a one three five pattern and then bonds should start to move lower that's what it looks like here from the cheap seats here and well they're not so cheap anymore in tucson but that's what we're watching here as we're looking at some of these things folks when i bring these things up on the lunar cycles those are nothing more then 14 and 28 day cycles. You know, you have a new moon starts at zero. 14 days later, you have the full moon and then another moon. There are every 27.3 quarters of a day, uh, you're you're right on the money. And that's uh, something Pythagoras worked on, you know, thousands of years ago. Well, a couple thousand years ago anyway. So that's a main thing to keep in mind. This stuff has been around for a long time. We have to rely on our patterns first. The timing is, if you can get it right, that's great. But by golly, you don't always get it. But you do have the price action there. And that's why it's so very important to keep an eye, you know, on the price action. Let's get rid of the meal here. And I want to cover the oil because we've got the oil here. that will be coming up in just a second. And uh, hold on one second here. Uh, hold on just a minute here. We're coming down a little bit. I'm trying to get two things at once, so let's get the soybean oil up here, BOZ. That's another one that I'm really bullish on. I think we got a real good chance here. It's holding up relatively well right here, and you'll see this is where we are right now. We're holding this area. It looks like we're starting to move a little bit higher. When we clear this line right here, it's going to be, uh, I would think it would get pretty bullish. But this is the best of the group. It's uh, it's it's stronger than the meal. Uh, beans are about the same strength as the uh, as the oil right now, but they are trying to make a bottom in here, and that's why we're watching these things uh, uh, pretty closely. So I certainly hope that helps. Let's see how much time we got left on the old clock here. Oh, we got a minute and a half. Holy cow! Let's move on to uh, one other one here that we have to talk about, and that is the live hog market. Some people are asking questions about livestock today, so let's try to answer them if we can. Here's your April hogs. We're trying to get these sold. Still won't rally very much. We just made some type of a major bottom in here. There's that level that we were watching. We made the ABCD down here at uh, 84.22. Uh, that was your ABCD here today. That completes that. So as long and we're it's gone 80, uh, 60 points in your favor. So if you're in that, you don't want it to get any lower than that. On a quick note, Apple. I got uh, Mr. Uh, Harley coming up in a second, but I wanted to 
to cover Apple because I've had three or four questions about that because it has been under the gun here today. It's trading uh, below one, uh, right at 170, I guess. It, another gap down, of course, yesterday, and it's it's in the zone. It's was it was quite a bit lower. It got down to the lowest 168. It's rallied a couple bucks, but something's wrong with Apple, folks. Uh, people are selling this that have loved it forever, and there's nothing not to love. But you know how much it's going to go lower? I don't know. But you know, just to look look at his, it's backed off hardly nothing. From 200 to here, that that's that's really not very much at all, and so let's uh, don't get too bearish on this, okay? 877-927-6648. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Stan Sierra. <laughs> okay, folks, we have Stan Harley in the house today. Stan, welcome back. And we have March 6th was listed as a key date. And tell us what you're looking at, my friend. Absolutely, uh, Larry. Good to see you again. Let's take, it some, take a look at some charts, uh, shall we? You betcha. Um, first of all, it's kind of my contention that uh, the market is in the process uh, of making a, a major peak. We're not there yet. I think the balance of the year is going to be on the good side. But I thought I'd just review some of the things that I'm looking at. Here is a uh, 
weekly chart of the S&P going back uh, to the early 1980s. And what I have found on the weekly chart is every single high, every single one, can be defined by the Lucas series and their times two multiples. So for example, from the March 2000 high to the October 2007 high was 398 weeks. Well, that's four weeks from being a, a Lucas 199 times two. And I've got the Lucas table over here on the left. The Lucas numbers are in the first column. I multiplied them by two in the second column. And as you know, for my doing presentations with you uh, over the years, I contend that the Lucas number series is very, very powerful in defining time counts from high to high or low to low, far more powerful than Fibonacci. I use Fibonacci as well, but I found Lucas numbers are far more powerful. Um, but continuing with, the, with the, the peaks of the last 20 years, between the October 07 high and the May 2015 high, we were within one week, again, of being exactly Lucas 199 times two. And then into the Feb 2020 high, we were within two weeks of being exactly Lucas 123 times two, which is 246. And then if you add another 246 weeks to that, or you can splice it, you can look at 94, which is Lucas 47 times two. That took us to the January 2022 top. And then if we go another Lucas 76 times two, which is 152, that takes us to mid-November. Uh, or you can also add 246 weeks to the 2020 high and you still get to mid-November. So what am I saying here? A lot of numbers, a lot of stuff here on the chart. My contention is this, the Lucas series multiplied by two is the defining mathematics uh, to forecasting major highs on the chart of the S&P 500 and the Dow and the NASDAQ and so forth. So okay. put it all together, button it up, tie a ribbon around it. It's my contention that the market's gonna march higher into November of this year. And then we could see a very important high on the charts. Okay, before we get to November, we've got a lot of real estate to cover between now and then. So let's look at the weekly. Again, bring it down a little bit smaller here. So instead of uh, 45 years, let's look at just the last couple of years. Um, this is a chart going back to 2018. And what I've done here is I have marked with purple lines, the dominant troughs on the weekly chart. And these dominant troughs nominally spanned 34 weeks, eight months. Both of those are Fibonacci numbers. Now that, that's, what I call, that's what I call the primary weekly cycle. And it expands, it contracts. Sometimes it contracts to 20 weeks, sometimes it expands to 49. But if we put all the data points into a spreadsheet, which I have done, uh, do a regression analysis of the data series, it computes right at 34 weeks, eight months. So that's the nominal span of this intermediate cycle on the weekly charts. I did a very extensive analysis of this going back literally decades for the uh, journal for the Foundation for the Study of Cycles for, a couple, for about a couple of years ago. So if folks have an interest, they can go back and take a look at that. And my analysis says the next low should occur in the vicinity of late June. So maybe June 22nd, 25th, right in that time frame. As we get closer, I'll refine that. But nominally, that's where I'm looking for the next low. Now, before we get to a low, obviously, we have to have a high. So let's take a look at the daily data. Um, another busy chart, and I'll leave this up here for a couple of minutes for the, for the viewers to take a look. Uh, there are several things on here that are important. Across the bottom, I have noted all of the 53 trading day cycle lows. And in our many presentations on the air here with you, uh, I noted that's the dominant cycle on the, on the daily chart. It's 53 trading days. A couple of times it has expanded to 80, which is a 1.5 multiple. But the majority of the time, it's about every 53 plus or minus. Um, and when I do a regression analysis of the data, analysis of the data, it falls at right at 53 trading days. Uh, the, uh, the next one by my analysis is due in the vicinity of the spring equinox, March 22nd, March 25th, right in there. Uh, of, of course, before we get to a low, we have to get to a high. Uh, on the top side of the chart, I put a big fat zero at the August high of 2022. And then as you can see in my regression analysis below, all of the major pivot points 
have aligned very neatly with the Fibonacci ratios, 0 0.236, 0 0.382, 0 0.618, 0 0.764, and so forth. Long story short, I put those into a spreadsheet, turn the crank uh, of my regression analysis, and out pops the date of March the 7th. That's you know, tomorrow. So, uh, and the standard deviation on that now analysis is right here. It's 3.38 trading days, call it 3.4, or in a nutshell, three trading days. So March 7th, plus or minus three trading days, I'll be looking for a high, essentially right now. Um, could the high on March the 4th have been it? Yes, I think it could have, and I think it probably was for most stocks. Perhaps in the next day or two, maybe we might see a few stocks go to slightly higher highs, but essentially I think we're making what I call a trading cycle ho high right now, right now, March 4th slash possibly tomorrow. Stan, I have a question. I don't know if you yes. follow these cryptocurrency stuff. Do you follow Bitcoin or anything like that? I do, yes. Okay. When you come back from the break, can we talk about that a little bit? Because yeah, you know that absolutely. I hear stuff that scares me to death on these these uh, markets about illiquidity and closing exchanges and all that stuff. It just frightens the bejeebies out of me. So when we get back from the break, I'd like to go over that if you could, just to give us a rough idea, because you've certainly nailed the stock market pretty good. So we might as well put your feet to the fire and make sure you still have your A game. I'm uh, I'm all for receiving <laughs> those flying tomatoes. Uh, um, it, until the music plays, I'll just continue with the, with, yeah, just, with the stock just market. Just continue. You betcha. Yeah. Um, I think we're making a trading cycle high this week. Not an intermediate cycle high, but what I call a trading cycle high. Mm -hmm. uh, so making a high right in here as we speak could have happened on the 4th, probably happened on the 4th. It could happen in the city of the 7th, but we're, we're right there for all practical purposes. And then I'm looking for about a two-week modest consolidation, uh, which takes us down in the March 22nd, 25th time period, interestingly, right around the spring equinox. Uh -huh. uh, uh, and then from there, a, a push till still higher highs, uh, making a subsequent trading cycle high in the vicinity of May the 8th, which I believe will also be a high in that 34-week cycle, that last chart I showed right there the high in that series right around May the 8th and then a sell off into uh, the latter part of June. Uh, Listen, then, stay yeah. tuned. Stay tuned. We're going to pay a few bills. We'll be I right back with Stan Harley. 877-927-6648. Keep those cards and letters coming in. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. back folks and we have fred on the line with a question for stan fred please ask the question that you have for mr harley will do hello stan hello fred yeah hey stan um excuse me if i missed the answer when you've uh, appeared recently about this i was listening to you probably in december and you were talking about a uh and three days give or take on january 19th there was a 68% chance uh, of the cycle. You were expecting a quick downturn and then basically off to the races. Do you recall that at all? I do, and we, we saw a low on the 18th of January. Well, I was going to ask you yes. if that – I see the 17th a little low there, and I remember you said it would be small. I just didn't know if something that small counted, so it did. Okay. That was a, Fred, that was a 53-day cycle low. The, I'm going from memory here. I don't have the chart in front of my face at the moment here, although I could call it up. But uh, I believe the S&P made a low on the 17th and the Dow made a lower low on the 18th. So, um, yeah, right there. So, yes, with, within one standard deviation, that was a 50. It was a fairly benign pullback, but uh, that was it nonetheless. Okay. Yeah, just wondering. I uh, appreciate you addressing it. Absolutely. Okay, Thanks thank for calling you. in, Goodbye. Fred. Please continue, Stan. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's let's take a look at uh, Bitcoin. Um, what I uh, what I have here is uh, a chart of Bitcoin going back to the beginning of trading. Uh, this chart's a couple of days old. Um, and so it doesn't reflect the uh, the latest push to new high, which is a new high, which just happened yesterday. Uh, but uh, you'll get the picture nonetheless. This is this is all the way back to the very first day of trading. And it's a logarithmic chart, which makes it a little bit easier to read. Most people looking at this perhaps are, are a bit challenged to try to make any sense of the pattern of the cyclicality or forecasting reversals. They might contend it's manipulated. Heck, I don't know. <laughs> One excuse after another. <laughs> uh, but uh, I'm in a different camp. I, I, I'm the one who says, hey, um, give me a computer, give me a pencil uh, and a big fat eraser. Maybe I can figure it out. <laughs> Emphasis on the latter. Um, and so what I have found is if I use my good old friend, Mr. Lucas, Edward Lucas, and I count, do monthly counts, from the high that occurred back here in June of 2011, where my cursor is, mark that as the zero point, and then note every single high since that date. And Bitcoin typically makes spike tops and rounded bottoms. It's, it's easier, not easy, but easier, with an ER on the end, to identify peaks rather than troughs because of that. Spike tops, rounded bottoms. If we count backwards in time, 11 months, 11 is a Lucas number, it aligns up with the first day of trading. If we go forward in time, 11 times two, 
22 months, it lines up exactly with the peak that occurred in April of 2013. If we go 29 Lucas months, the peak in 2013, and so on. All the major highs can be defined by the Lucas series or their times two multiple, every single one. Okay, right. what's the next one in the series? 152, and that occurs out here where I have my mouse cursor several, couple of months from now. Wow. Uh, Stan, what's the difference yes. between the Lucas number and a, uh, and a Fibonacci number, like, like 8, 13, 21? How does that work with Lucas? Uh, Lucas and Fibonacci are related uh, by either the ratio 1.382 or by the square root of 5. So if you take okay. a Fibonacci number, you multiply by 1.382, you get the next Lucas number. To get the subsequent Lucas number, you multiply by the square root 5, 2.236. Okay. Well, this is that's, simple, that's simple enough. Yeah. Okay. Good. It's very, very simple. Yeah. Um, I think. Now, I think L Lucas's grandmother was uh, Dominici, as I recall, from uh, Florence, as I recall, on his mother's side. That I was a joke, no Stan. That was a joke. Oh. That was a joke. Oh, oh well. <laughs> shut the front door and pay the rent. Shut the front door and raise the rent. You got that. You right, raise the rent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be on that like a cheap suit. Um, yeah. Here is a daily chart. Uh, Again, just a few days old, but we get the picture nonetheless. Um, what I have done here, uh, this is this reflects the pattern from the all-time high that occurred on November the 10th, 2021. And what I've noted here is all of the major pivot points line up neatly with the major Fibonacci ratios. Uh, 0 0.146, 236, 382, 618. We know all those. Uh, so when I plug those into the spreadsheet, put in the dates, those numbers under the Y column are the dates, the row numbers in my spreadsheet, which correspond to the calendar dates. Uh, and I turn the crank in my computer in the uh, re regression function. And it says, assuming the pattern continues, we should be looking for the time period right around July the 12th, with a standard deviation of approximately six calendar days for the next pivotal turn in this ratio series. So that lines up very neatly with what the prior chart, the monthly chart is saying. So put it all together, put a ribbon around it, tie it nicely and neatly, and what is it telling me? I think we've got a, a continued bull market in, in Bitcoin, probably until July. So we've got a few more months. How high we're gonna go, I don't know. This tells me nothing about what's gonna happen on the y-axis. It only tells me about the potential on the x-axis. Now, could things change between now and then? Sure, new data comes into the picture, or maybe I see old data with a with a fresh set of eyes. Absolutely, but right now this is how it looks to me, Larry. I'm looking for continued higher prices in Bitcoin. Wow, very exciting, uh, Stan. I want to thank you for being as our guest today. We'll have you on again in a few weeks, and I want you to stay well. And uh, you know, you're just great to have. It's great seeing you and your wife here in Tucson last week, and uh, glad you were traveling well. So we'll have you on again in a few weeks if that's okay. I look forward to it. And just in closing, I want everyone to know uh, I met Larry for dinner and his lovely wife Sarah. He took us out to a fine, fine restaurant in Tucson, and we just had a delightful time. Super folks. Well, thank you for the compliment. I appreciate it. It was really fun having you. And your wife liked the, the recipe for the pasta sauce, I guess. <laughs> hey, thanks a lot, buddy. I really I really do appreciate it. And uh, if I see if any of Jimmy's old friends uh, Friday, I'll certainly pass on the information. He's going to be missed, that's for sure. So mm -hmm. live every day in an attitude of gratitude, my friend, because you're a stand-up guy. We want to have you on again soon, okay? Thank you. My pleasure. Look forward to it. You bet. Stan Harley, folks, of the Harley Stock Market Letter, and he's uh, really someone to really pay close attention to with some of the things that he's done here. And uh, notice that the market sold off a little bit. I hear the beepers going off. I wonder what that means. Let's get this moving out of the way here. Okay, let's talk about the gold market here, boys and girls. But unfortunately, we have a break coming up, and my beepers are going crazy. I don't know what's happened here. Okay, let's move on here to something else. Uh, that's all stopped. Um, let me see how much time I got left. I don't think I have enough. 34 seconds. But I will do the gold market because we hit something just uh, a little while ago. When we come back, we'll cover it. 877-927-6648.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we've taken out the highs of December the 4th here in gold. You see, we've, read, we've made the 1.27 expansion. Up here today, the only reason I'm bringing this to your attention is we got a big divergence between silver and gold again. If we look at this on a smaller time frame, you're going to see a little three drive pattern here, very, very shallow. But uh, we are at a major resistance up in here uh, based on, you know, the work that we do. If we look at this just over these last couple of days here between yesterday and today, if you measure that 1.618 level, let's get this down here where it belongs right down to there we're pretty much up to this there's that 127 again off of that same number so this could be some pretty strong resistance the reason why i say that and i know it's the end of the show coming up but if we look at silver here very quickly uh, you'll see that silver has been acting uh quite a bit uh weaker at least it was yesterday see if we made another hey we did we got up there and we made the numbers shut the front door look at this on the daily folks this is right on the money as i recall Ah, now there it is right here. It's a little above it. See, I thought it was going to be here at 52. It's got up to the old high here was uh, 54. This was 55 uh, coming in uh, right here. So look at this on the smaller time frame. You'll see that uh, I could be totally wrong on this. 
yeah, this doesn't show the same thing. So be really careful up in here. Hey, folks, you got to be really careful on everything in these kind of markets. That's absolutely for sure. So stay tuned tomorrow. Uh, we're going to have to have Mike Moore uh, as our guest tomorrow. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. And let's hope that uh, everybody will be well and happy. Do something nice for your neighbors, folks, because there are a lot of folks out there that even though the economy is booming, a lot of people are not booming. And that's the, the real key of what we're watching here. So we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. And may God bless.